Hi guys, it is July 7th. Um, I got a word this morning. I'm going to go ahead and put this up just like with any word. Please prayerfully discern. And I will go ahead and start this. It's kind of long. My daughter, write my words for those with ears to hear. My children, do not despise those who have been prompted by my Holy Spirit to study the times and dates and timings of events that are laid out in types and shadows in my word. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Did I not have prophets on my earth in times of old? Just like the prophets were given prophecy in days of old, many have been given and will start getting prophetic words, dreams, and visions of what will be occurring soon upon your earth. I am a God of un searchable mercy and to those that are seeking me I will show things that are to come I am the I am and I decide when and how and to whom I will show many of my hidden secrets <clears throat> when you attack these that seek my revelations you attack some who have been charged by me with seeking my hidden truths it is because of my great and unfallible mercy that I will allow certain things to be shown to these that I have chosen. I am the author of all things, including the identities of those I choose to use in these final hours. My children, please allow me to remove the pride of your flesh so that you may view these prophecies through my supernatural and spiritual eyes and not scoff at these things from the standpoint of your flesh. The dreams and visions and messages are to be prayed over by all of my children and discernment is to be used. But beware of discounting these that have been chosen to seek out my puzzle pieces in these end times. For when you attack without carefully discerning, you may be coming against servants that I have anointed and placed here at this very hour. You must use my Holy Spirit and view things through his eyes, not the limited eyes of what you deem humanly possible. Every single heart will be searched by me in the coming time, and I will be the judge of these hearts. Just as I have judged every heart of every man that has ever set foot on your earth. No man has the ability to see and comprehend my power. No man has the ability to know all that will be coming upon your earth. And nothing will remain in your realm of comprehension. If you remain steeped in your fleshy pride, you will not be allowed to see the pieces of my puzzle that has been laid out for those that have been charged to seek them. Pride will be your downfall and ultimately, ultimately lead you to blindness. And when the pieces of my puzzle begin to form a picture, those of you filled with that pride will have no way of viewing it. No man in his flesh will partake in what I have prepared for those that carry my Holy Spirit within them. I implore you who are watchmen to share that all, I show, all that I show you. For by doing so, you will prepare the hearts of many for what is to come upon your earth. Completely ignore the mockers and the scoffers that come against you, for they themselves are a fulfillment of my word. Stay on my wall, my watchmen and prophets. Pray for my protection and peace as I bestow upon you my wisdom and knowledge of what will be coming. The enemy has set before you many who want nothing more than to discredit and harm your ministries that I have charged you with. Turn the other cheek from these pride-filled men and continually seek me. Much is left to be shown, and much of my love is left to be sown. Unless the words that you speak 
display the fruit of my love. You are better off not speaking them at all. Allow me to fight these battles for you, my loves. Do not rely on your human understandings, my watchmen, but call upon my Holy Spirit for all advice. These attacks that will be coming against those that I've chosen in this time to share, my prophetic words, dreams, and visions will make you wish for nothing more than to shrink back from what I am asking you to do. Do not shrink back. Stay upon my wall. And do not let these evils prevail against you. For many are seeking me and will find my truth in what I am giving you to share. I know it would be easier to give up the fight and to wave the white flag of surrender, but remember, my loves, your victory in me has already been won. And though the enemy sets his evil against you, your victory in me has already been claimed. I love you, my children, the Most High, with a name above all names. <laughs>